Hi guys! So today I am going to be doing my Zoya nail polish collection. I'm really excited because I love Zoya. They're definitely one of my favorite brands. Um, they retail from for nine to ten dollars, and the places that you can find them are on either their Zoya website or at Ulta in stores. You can actually buy them on Ulta's website, which I think is kind of funny that you can't that you can only buy them in stores and not online, but whatever. Um, I love Zoya. They always have sales and deals on their website, so I definitely recommend following their Instagram to find out when they're having um, their sale events. Um, I don't really know what else to say other than they have really cool colors and they have really consistent formulas. They're just consistently really, really good. They last really long on me. Of course, that's just kind of a personal thing. It really depends on the person. Um, but I really love them. So without further ado, let's get into the colors. Um, the first color I would start with is my only cream, which I thought was kind of funny that I only have one cream. And this is Zoya's Pepper. I don't know. I'm not going to show you guys the name. Um, which is just a really pretty reddish brown color. So there's Zoya's Pepper. Um, then I'm going to show you guys my matte velvet colors. The first one I have is in Harlow which is just this really pretty um, shimmery berry color. I do actually have a blog post about this and I do also have this, um, I do have a swatch of this pinned on my Pinterest. So there's Zoya's Harlow. But I'll try to do a nail of the day with all of these so that you guys will be able to have all the videos just kind of at your fingertips. Um, one of my favorite ones, this is Posh. It has a little bit that's spilled right here. I bought it like that. But this is called Posh, and it's just a really beautiful red. I love it. It's one of my favorite reds, actually, in my entire collection. So there's Posh. The next color I have is called Phoebe. This one actually isn't that nice. <laughs> the formula of this is really, really thin. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of watery. And it chips really fast. It stains my nails. And it's just super, super sheer and patchy. So this is my only Zoya that really sucks. And the funny thing is, this was my first Zoya for years because I thought this was so crappy that I didn't want to try anymore but I'm glad that I decided to try other ones because they end up being pretty great. Um, then the last matte velvet one I have is Savita and this is one of my favorite colors in my entire collection. It's just the most beautiful royal purple. I just I love it so much. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. Um, then I'm going to show you guys my glittery kind of colors. So the first one I have is called Monet. And this has a slightly like pinkish purple tinged base, but it's really clear. You can't see anything. And then it just has iridescent glitters. So that's kind of fun. It's definitely a topper. Um, then I have the colors from the Bubbly collection. So this first one is Stassi or Stacy, and it's just a really beautiful shimmery green. Oh, look how nice that is. It's so pretty. I loved the bubbly collection. This next one is called Binks. Look at this one. Oh, so pretty. I love these. These are really great. If I've tried them before, then I will let you guys know. Oh, this one I have. This one's Harper. And I actually had this in a favorites video. I also have a nail of the day featuring this polish. It is just a really, really gorgeous pink with a gold shimmer. So there's Harper. Then the last glittery one I have is called Alma. And this just is this is just super awesome orange. I really like shimmery and glittery oranges. So this is right up my alley. Um, then I have all of my pixie dust. I actually have quite a few. Um, this first one is called Imogen. And this is a black with holographic glitters. I have not tried this one yet. So there's Imogen. Then I have Carter. Which is, I mean, look at it. Just look at it. Look how pretty it is. Oh my god. I haven't tried this one either. I have to get on that. Pronto. Um, this next one is called Stevie. Which is just a really beautiful color. 
I heard a lot of people talk about this color, so I knew I had to get it. And I have not tried this one yet, either. Have I? No. No, I haven't. Um, this one is NYX, which I have tried and loved. Look at it! Isn't it beautiful? <sighs> I love this original formula of the Pixie Dust because it's really fine and really sparkly. So there's that. Then I have Godiva, which is just a really nice neutral nude kind of color. I thought it would be really pretty with the silver shimmers. It's looking up a little bit more yellow on camera. It's definitely more of a beige in real life. It's looking up really yellow. It's looking really, really yellow. Mm. Okay, this next one is called Vespa which um, I have worn and it was in a favorites video. I also had it in a, um, I have a nail of the day featuring this as well. So there's Vespa. Again, this is looking a very green on camera. I mean, not green. It has a little bit more yellow on camera than it really has. In, I mean, showing up more yellow on camera than it is in real life is definitely more blue toned than this. Um, then I have this one, which I'm shaking up, and this is called Thea, and look at it, isn't it so pretty? I have tried this one, and I do have a blog post about it, but I don't have a nail of the day featuring it, unfortunately. I think I also have a picture of this on my Pinterest, though, so that's something. Then, oh, this one I love. This one is called Nori, and look at it, isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's so pretty, and um, I have a blog post about this. I have it pinned. I don't know. No, I don't have a nail of the day of this, and I don't think I put a picture of this on Instagram either, but I have to get on that because this is just gorgeous. Um, then I have Tomoko, which is just a really pale gold glitter. I'm seeing up a little bit more yellowy gold on camera than it is in real life. It's definitely a little bit more silvery. Or more champagne-y, I guess, in real life. Then the last one I have was actually my first Pixie Dust, and this kind of brought me back into My King Zoya nail polishes. And this is Cheetah, which is just a really beautiful green textured polish. It is amazing. The formula of this is great, so this got me back into Zoya's. So, yay, Cheetah! <laughs> um, now for all of my shimmery... Zoya's, I have quite a few. They're probably one of my favorite Zoya types of polish, like Zoya finishes. This one is Tegan, which, I mean, look at this. I do have a blog post about this, and I also have it pinned on my Pinterest. So there's Tegan. This one is a new one. This is Tinsley, which I need to wear soon. It's kind of a rosy, like a... <sighs> It's kind of a slightly like aged rose color with a really strong gold shimmer. It's so pretty. Tinsley. This one is Sarah, one of my favorite colors ever of my entire life. Oh my god, I love this so much. Um, I do have a blog post about this. I also have Pinterest. Um, I have a picture of this on Pinterest. It is just amazing and this stayed on my weeks for like this stayed on my weeks. This stayed on my fingers for like two weeks when I was really, really sick. And I kept staring at my nails because they were so pretty and they weren't chipping and I thought it was amazing. <laughs> so this is Sarah. Amazing, amazing color. Um, this one is another newer one. This one is Amy. And look at it. It's just like fire. It's so pretty. I have to wear this for Thanksgiving because I think that would be really, really nice. <sighs> so nice. Um, this one is Carrie, and it's just a really amazing shimmery gold. I mean, look at it. It's like a liquid gold. It's so pretty. I used this in a fall gradient a couple of years back, and it was really, really nice. It was so glowy. So there's Carrie. This one I've used recently, and it was in a favorites, and a nail of the day. This is Tansy, which is, well, I used this during my, um, my Boutifu Nails Challenge. Um, this was, I used this in my jack-o'-lantern nails, 
and this is just one of my favorite colors ever of life because it's just a shimmery orange and I've become really obsessed with shimmery oranges lately because I found that they look really flattering on me and they're just really glowy and beautiful. So this is Tansy. Highly recommend it. Um, then I have this one, which is Cassidy. I have not worn this yet, but it's kind of like a gunmetal with a lot of shimmer. But I don't know if you can see, but it's slightly tinged blue. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks slightly bluish to me. And I can't tell if I'm just seeing things or if it's actually tinged blue, but it's so pretty. So this is Cassidy. It looks like it almost has a hint of green to it, too. I don't know. I feel like I see all these colors in it, but who knows? This other one is a new one. I can't wait to wear it um, for Christmas. And this is Hazel. Look at it. Isn't this just the perfect kind of like icy, Christmassy, just winter wonderland color? Because it has this really beautiful kind of fine gold shimmer in it. Oh, so pretty. This one, um, this, I don't, mm -mm. this one kind of is unflattering on my skin tone. And this is Pee Off. I cannot make this work for the life of me. It's just, I don't know. It looks really nice in the bottle because it's like a shimmery camel color. But on my skin tone, it just, it just, it looks too similar to my skin tone. So it looks kind of weird and terrible. <laughs> So I have to figure out how I'm going to wear this. I think I might incorporate it into nail art or something. I really don't know, but yep, there's pee off. And it makes me think of rice pilaf, which I actually really like, so that's kind of funny. Anyway, this is Serafina, which I talked about a lot last year. This is one of my favorite polishes as well. Um, it's just, it's this silver color, but I don't know if you guys can see it. Look at that. It has like this silver... Like this darker silver shimmer in it. I don't even know what that is. But the base itself is just so densely packed. It almost looks like an opaque gray or something. I don't even know. It's such a weird color and I just love it because it's just gorgeous. Um, it's a little bit on the thinner side, but I really don't care because it's amazing. It's kind of hard to see though because it's white base. It's kind of, there's no sun shining, so it's kind of, yeah. There's Serafina though. Then my last shimmer polish is Mimi, which I'd wanted forever, and it's just this really beautiful purple. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. Oh, so pretty. I have not worn this yet, but I have to get on it, like, now. So, Mimi. And then the last four polishes I have are my holographic colors. I The only one I'm missing is Storm, which I need to get pronto. <laughs> But these are just the best thing. If you are not interested in any of the other ones, I highly recommend these because these are absolute perfection. So the first color is Peyton, and I've just worn I've just worn this. This is my last manicure, and I do have a nail today and a picture of this on Instagram. And oh, just look at it. It's just a really dark eggplant, I guess. It's like a it's like a plummy eggplant sort of color. It's like between those two colors. And it has just a really strong holographic glitter. Oh, so pretty. Peyton. Look at that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, the next one is called Blaze, which I've also worn. This one has the most subtle holographic glitter in the bottle, but it's really, really pretty on the nail. I do have a picture of this on my Instagram as well. And I don't think I have a nail the day of this, though. I don't know. I can't remember. But this is gorgeous. If you can see, the holographic is very subtle in this one. Then um, I have Dream, which is an actual dream. And I do have a picture of this on my Instagram. Look at that. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's perfection. Like, it's one of my favorite colors of the entire year and of the rest of my life. So there's Dream, which is an actual literal dream. And then the last one is the only one I haven't tried yet, so I'm super excited to try it. This is Aurora, and I know that a lot of people really like it. Like, this is their favorite one, and just because the holographic shimmer and glitter in this is just crazy. I mean, look at that. It's so amazing. So, this might be my, my next <laughs> manicure. Oh, look at it. So pretty. So, that is it for my... Zoya nail polish collection. Um, I hope that was enjoyable. So 
Oh, please leave your recommendations for Zoya colors that you think I should pick up down below. I've been creating a list of all the polishes I need to get, so I need to add more some more Zoya to that. Um, and tell me how you guys feel about Zoya's, your favorite colors. Um, yeah, so tell me about your thoughts. I love hearing it. I love interacting with you guys. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next in my next video. Bye!